I'm Fernando. I'm a mechanical engineering major at the University of Puerto Rico, Maya West. This summer I have been working in the Bambly lab for material chemical mechanics, developing mechanical models of multiple sclerosis lesions using stereolithography 3D printing to recreate variations of mechanical stiffness. Our research is focused on finding cures for multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis is a very debilitating disease in which neurons lose very important membrane called myelin. And when this happens, neurons eventually die, leading to permanent disability. We are trying to find ways to stimulate repair of myelin in MS patients so that neurological function can be restored. We are developing polymer-based materials to engineer models of MS lesions that mimic real lesions in the brain. The brain contains some of the most compliant tissues and cells in the body, which makes recreating its structures quite challenging. We developed photocurable resins to fabricate hydrogels that span the range of physiological and pathological brain tissue stiffness. In order to control the mechanical landscape of 3D models, Fernando has been optimizing a commercial 3D printer to generate stiffness maps by changing the grayscale values of digital masks and in this way change the extent of cross-linking of the polymer within a given model. So the first part is to calibrate the build head of the 3D printer, as you can see here, and then just cut a little bit in the PDMS window of the tray. Um, you can start printing now and you can start a process of calibration. We just have to be careful to center the bill head so it, it prints good until you get something cured. You're gonna get something like this for example. It can be something over cured, under cured, so you're going to get something solidified. So once we have our models printed, we have to verify their mechanical properties. And to do this, we use a technique called atomic force microscopy indentation. In this technique, we use very small tips to indent sample and obtain force indentation curve that allows us to obtain elastic modulus of a sample. And this is how we learn about stiffness of our material. Our long-term goal is to use these models of lesions in brain tissue to develop drugs that can stimulate myelin repair.